So, welcome to the lecture series on mathematical methods and its applications. In the last lecture, we have seen initial and final value theorems and we have solved some problems based on it. So, uh, we have also seen that when they are important like initial and final value theorem when they are uh, applied basically in which type of problems we can apply initial and final value theorems. Now, in this lecture, we will see Laplace transforms of periodic functions. So, uh, we already know uh, periodic functions, periodic functions are those functions uh, which repeat after uh, after uh, some uh, some t ok. That means, uh, f a function f t is said to be periodic function if uh, f of t plus uh, capital T is equals to f t and t is not equal to 0 and that t is the smallest one ok. A smallest uh, positive uh, number, the smallest positive real number such that f t plus t equal to f t uh, then we say that uh, capital T is a period of the function f. Now, how to find the Laplace transform of periodic functions? So, we have a direct uh, expression to find out Laplace transform of periodic functions. What is that? Suppose uh, f t as a period t, uh, of course, t greater than 0, then the Laplace transform f t is given by this expression. Now, how we obtain this expression? Let us see. So, uh, what is Laplace transform of f t? It is nothing but 0 to infinity e k power minus p t f t d t. Okay. Now, what is the period of f? A period is capital T. Period capital T means uh, it is a smallest uh, real number uh, t, re, smallest non-zero real number t such that f t plus capital T equal to f t. That is by the definition of periodic functions. Now, since it is a period capital T, uh, we can write it like this 0 to t e k power minus p t f t d t plus t 2 to t e k power minus p t f t d t plus 2 t 3 t e k power minus p t f t d t and so on up to infinity. Okay. Now, you uh, this first integral remain put it as it is. For the second integral, for a second integral, let uh, for second integral, let uh, uh, t uh, minus capital T as z for second integral. So, what will be the expression? When a small t is capital T, the z will be 0 and when it is 2 t, so 2 t minus t is capital T, so z will be t and E p what is t? Cap small t is z plus capital T, it is z plus capital T f of and t is nothing but z plus t into and dt is from here dt is nothing but dz. So, it is dz plus. Now, for the next expression for the next integral again suppose again suppose uh, say t minus 2 t is capital Z suppose. So, d t it will be nothing but uh, d capital Z and when when a small t is 2 t 2 capital T capital Z will be 0. So, it is 0 and when it is 3 t 3 t minus 2 t is capital T capital Z will be t e k power minus p and small t from here is nothing but z plus 2 t. So, it is uh, capital Z plus 2 capital T f of T is nothing but 2 T plus Z into d Z plus and so on. In the same way, we will get the another terms of this infinite series. Okay. So, 
So, this is nothing but this integral remain as it is 0 to t e key power minus p t f t d t plus. Now, this term e key power minus p capital T is free from z, free from z can be taken out from the integral. So, it is e key power minus p capital z integral 0 to t e k power minus p z and since function is periodic has a period capital T. So, f z plus t is nothing but f z and d z since function is periodic. So, f t plus capital T is f t here t is z and similarly here e k power minus p into 2 t we can take outside the integral minus 2 p t from 0 to t e k power minus p capital Z again function as a period t. So, this will be nothing but f z itself into t z because function as a period t means after every t interval the function repeat itself. So, uh, if function is as a uh, period t, so that means uh, that means f uh, that means f of uh, n t plus t will be nothing but f t because after every t interval function repeat itself. So, after n interval also function will be itself only because period is capital T. Okay, that is by definition of periodic functions. Now. Whether you integrate uh, taking variable z or you integrate taking variable t, it is same by the definition of uh, by the properties of definite integrals. And here also, whether you integral with respect to capital Z or small t, all are same. So, this is nothing but this can be written as 0 to t e k power minus p t f t d t plus e k power minus p t. 0 to t. So, we can write it like this e k power minus p t f t d t plus okay. In this expression you can also write e k power minus p 2 t 0 to t e k power minus p t f t d t and so on. So, what is the final expression now? So, in the final expression you can easily see that this term is common from all the terms. This expression is common in all the terms. In the first term we have 1, second we have e k power minus p t, in the third term we have e k power minus 2 p t and so on. So, what will be the Laplace transform of uh, f t? This we were calculating this is nothing but the equal to this. So, when we simplify this, so we will get 1 plus e k power minus p t plus e k power minus 2 p t plus and so on and this is common from all the terms 0 to t e k power minus p t f t d t. So, this after simplification we get this. Now, what is the first term? What is the first term? It is a geometric progression. So, how to sum it up? Using the uh, formula for uh, geometric progression for infinite series and when we have a, so it is nothing but uh, a upon 1 minus r. Here a is a first term, first term is 1 and 1 minus r, r is e k power minus p t integral 0 to t e k power minus p t f t d t. So, this is the required expression which is same as this expression. So, uh, this is how we can find out Laplace transforms of periodic functions. So, whenever any function is given to you and you know the period of that function. So, you can simply find out Laplace transform of such function by simply using this expression I mean this formula. Okay? So, now let us uh, solve some problems on uh, periodic functions. First is square wave function, how it is defined? It is defined like this, uh, when f t 
uh, is k when t is from 0 to a. So, it is uh, f t is k when t varying from 0 to a and it is minus k when a, uh, t varying from a to 2a and period is 2a that means f of uh, t plus 2a is ft, ft ok. So, what is the shape of this function? From 0 to it is a, it is 2a, 3a, 4a and so on. Now, from 0 to a, it is having a value k, assume k to be positive. So, uh, it has a value uh, k that means, suppose this is k, so this is the k and ok. And from a to uh, 2a, it has value minus k. So, suppose minus k is somewhere here, from a to 2a it has minus minus k again. So, this repeat itself. So, now from 2, uh, 2a to 3a it has a value k and from 3a to 4a it has a value minus k and the process continues. Okay. Since, since it, has a, it has a period 2a. Now, how to find Laplace of this function? So, uh, finding Laplace of this function is easy. Uh, you can simply find Laplace of this ft by using that expression which is nothing but 0 to t. t is the capital T is the period of the function okay, that we have seen. If you see this for expression, here capital T is the period of the function, period of this function is 2a. So, it is 0 to 2a e power minus p t f t d t upon 1 minus e key power minus p into and capital T, capital T is period which is 2a. So, now we can compute the uh, numerator part, denominator is constant, uh, I mean function of p it is we can we have to simplify. Now, again from 0 to a it is f t is k. So, it is k into a key power minus p t d t plus a to 2 a it is minus k minus k into a key power minus p t d t divided by 1 minus a key power minus 2 a p. So, this can be further written as k e key power minus p t upon minus p 0 to a minus k e key power minus p t upon minus p from a to 2 a and whole divided by whole divided by 1 minus e key power minus 2 a p. Okay. Now, you when you take the uh, when you apply the limits so, it is uh, k upon minus p minus minus plus it is k by p numerator is e k power minus 2 a p denominator is a which is minus e k power minus a p and this whole expression divided by 1 minus e k power minus 2 a p. So, you can simplify this expression to get the final answer of Laplace transform of this function. So, what we will obtain? So, when you simplify this, so Laplace transform of ft will be nothing but of, of the first problem, okay? of the first problem is nothing but <coughs> you can take k upon p common. Okay? It is uh, e k power minus 2 a p. Now, this is negative and this is also negative. So, it is minus 2 e k power minus a p, okay. k upon p is common 
and uh, this is minus minus plus it is plus 1 and whole divided by 1 minus e ki power minus 2 a p. So, this is nothing but k upon p. So, it is nothing but 1 minus e ki power minus a p whole square upon 1 minus e ki power minus 2 a p. Okay. So, this will be the final expression. Now, the second problem uh, we call it uh, saw tooth wave function which is defined like this. Now, what is the shape of this function let us see it has a period capital T. Okay. So, what is the shape of this function? Function is defined like this it is f t which is equals to uh, t upon capital T when t varying from 0 to t okay, and period is capital T. So, it is uh, capital T, it is 2 T, it is 3 T and so on. From 0 to T, it is T upon capital T, it is something like a straight line passing through origin. So, it is T to T. When it is capital T, it is 1. So, this value is 1 basically. And when T is uh, 0, it is 0. Okay. So, we have a hollow here, we have a hollow here. Now, from T to T T, the same will repeat from T to T to T itself because it is a period capital T as given the problem. So, the same will repeat here also, the same will repeat here also, the same will repeat here also. So, likewise, uh, Likewise, we can uh, draw this function. So, this is this function we call at uh, all heights are same, okay. All heights are same. Okay. So, <coughs> this is sawtooth wave. Now, how to find Laplace of this function? Again, we can use the same expression, the same uh, formula. Laplace of Ft will be nothing but it is 0 to t capital T capital T is capital T here e to the power minus p t f t f t is t upon capital T into d t and 1 upon 1 minus e to the power minus p t t is t here. Okay. So, it is nothing but this capital T is constant will come out and to integrate this we will use by parts integration by parts. So, what is the expression for this t into e to power minus p t upon minus p minus 1 into e to power minus p t upon minus p square. It is from 0 to capital T and whole divided by 1 minus e to power minus p t. So, you can substitute small t as capital T it is 1 upon t into 1 minus e to power minus p t. When you take small t as capital T, it is nothing but uh, t into e to power minus p t upon minus p and when you take t as 0, so it is 0. Now, here when you take t as t, so it is negative is already outside, it is e to power minus p t upon p square and minus minus plus 1 upon p square. So, you can take LCM and simplify this. So, which will be the Laplace transform of this f t. Okay. Similarly, we have this problem uh, 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 period is 2 pi uh, f t is defined like this. What is f t here? So, here f t from 0 to pi is sin t okay, and pi to 2 pi is 0. So, it is pi, it is 2 pi. So, from 0 to pi it is sin t, it is something like this and from pi to 2 pi it is 0, it is 0. Okay. Again, it has a period 2 pi, same will repeat after 2 pi also. So, from 2 pi to 3 pi it is sin t. 
having the same heights okay same heights and from 3 pi to 4 pi it is 0 again from 4 pi to 3 uh, 5 pi it is sin t and from 5 pi to 6 pi it is 0. So, how to find Laplace of this function again we will use the same expression uh, Laplace of f t will be nothing but uh, it is uh, 0 to capital T capital T is 2 pi here e for minus p t into f t d t upon 1 minus e for minus p into 2 pi. You can break it from 0 to pi e power minus p t 0 to pi it is sin t d t and pi to 2 pi it is 0. So, plus 0 okay. upon 1 minus e to power minus 2 pi p. Now, one can easily solve this uh, expression by applying integration by parts and we can get the final answer. Now, the next problem uh, if f t equal to t square when uh, t varying from 0 to t and f t plus 2 is 2 that means period is 2. Okay. So, what is the shape of this function? First, we can visualize what is the shape and then we can try to find out the Laplace of this function. So, what is the shape of this function? Uh, this is from 0 to 2, 0 to 4 then 6 and so on. So, from 0 to 2 it is t square that is parabola and when uh, it is 2 it is 4. So, it is something like uh, this expression and this is 4. When t is 2 f t is 4. Now, from 2 to 4 again it is parabola. So, it is something like this expression height remains same. Again 4 to 6 it is something like this expression. So, it is the same expression. Again from 6 to 8 it is something like this expression. So, that this will this will be the rough shape of this uh, function f t. Now, how to find Laplace of this again using the same expression. So, Laplace of this f t will be nothing but 0 to t here t is 2 period is 2 and it is t square e to power minus p t d t and whole divided by 1 minus e power minus 2 p because capital T is 2. So, this you can integrate by applying integration by parts. So, how to find integration is simple t square e power minus 2 p p t upon minus p then negative then 2 t e power minus p t upon p square then plus it is 2 e power minus p t upon minus p cube. Here I have, here I have applied the, the concept of partial uh, integration by parts directly. You can find it by applying integration by parts also and that, that the whole expression divided by 1 minus e power minus 2 p. So, this you can simplify and you can find out the Laplace transform of this function f t by substituting t equal to t and t equal to 0. Okay. So, if you want to verify say Laplace transform of cos a t which we have already uh, uh, find out which is p upon p square plus a square that also you can verify by using uh, periodicity also. So, period of cos a t is what is 2 pi upon a. <coughs> so, using periodicity also we can find out Laplace transform of cos a t. So, uh, what will be the expression for uh, this? If we use the periodicity of uh, cos a t. So, f t if f t is cos a t. So, its period is 2 pi upon a. A should not equal of course, a should not equal to 0 okay, 2 pi upon a. So, how to find Laplace of cos a t now using uh, property of uh, Laplace transform of periodic functions. So, it is nothing but uh, 0 to capital T capital T is 2 pi upon a and it is cos a t f t into e to power minus p t d t and whole divided by 1 minus e 
power minus p into t, t is 2 pi by a. So, you can easily verify, you can apply integration by part by parts over here and when you simplify, so you will de you will definitely get, you will get uh, p upon p square plus a square which is the Laplace transform of cos a t. Now, the last problem, uh, suppose we have to find out Laplace transform of this uh, triangular wave function. So, first we have to construct the function. So, one can easily see that the period of this function is 2 because after every uh, t equal to 2 function repeats and what is uh, the nature of the function at t equal to from 0 to t. So, that we have to construct that one can easily see that from 0 to t. So, f t is nothing but when t is varying from 0 to 1 it is straight line passing through origin and from point 1, 1 comma 1. So, it is remain t when t is varying from 0 to 1. When t is 0, it is 0, when t is 1, it is 1. Okay? And from 1 to 2, it is a decreasing straight line. So, it is something like 2 minus t when t varying from 1 to 2. Because when t is 1, so f t is 1 which is a tip point of this figure and when t is 2 it is 0. So, that will be the that will be the function of this function and with uh, f t plus 2 is nothing but f t. So, this is this is this function. Now, we can easily find out Laplace transform of this function using the expression for Laplace transforms of periodic functions. So, what will be Laplace transform of this f t? this is nothing but 0 to capital T f t e key power minus p t d t upon 1 minus e key power 2 p which is equal to now we have to break it 0 to 1 0 to 1 f t is nothing but t. So, it is t e key power minus p t d t plus from 1 to 2 1 to 2 it is nothing but 2 minus t. So, 2 minus t e key power minus p t d t and whole divided by 1 minus e key power minus 2 p. So, you can apply by parts here and here also and simplify to get the Laplace transform of this triangular wave function. So, uh, thank you very much.